is it maybe possible to start this video with getting an amazing hard clue scroll? What the hell is this? Guthix play body. Actually, I think I have this already, but it's not too bad. I'll take it. Alright, I have 80 smithing now, I boosted it, and we're going to make a god sword, so let's do this now, and I'm going to actually use all of these to just alk them, so let's see if we can do this now real quick. I need to boost again, God damn it! I should have logged out, but it's easy, I only need two uh, boosts, so there we go, I've got 81 now, so let's see if we can do this, um... Alright, so there we go. So I'm going to make all of these three god swords, and then after that I'm actually going to... Oh, we needed to do this, that's so annoying, but anyways, um... I'm going to alk all of the... Alright, so I boosted all the way to 80... Alright, so I boosted over 80 smithing, and I'm actually going to make all of these three god swords now, and I'm going to use them for just money, because there's no use for a tier 75 sword, right? I really don't have any use for it whatsoever, so I'm just going to use it for uh, money, so I'm going to alk all of these three swords, it should be about 2 million GP, and I currently have 2 mil, and I think I need 16 mil overall to be able to um, actually get 95 prayer, so we're really getting there, and this is a very good way of getting that last money so let's see let's make all of these three god swords so now we have them i don't know if it's possible to price check these with um with a valid yeah okay so 750k so overall 2.2 mil from just alking these so i'm going to do that and as we have 12 mil now let's actually examine this real quick uh 12.5 mil so yeah we're getting really close to being able to buy 95 prayer which is awesome Alright, so we just hit 93 prayer, and every single half an hour that comes, I'm going to do some prayer. I started spending some of my money, so I don't have to do everything in one sitting. So yes, that is 93 prayer. Let's go. So there's a new world event release called the Invasion of Port Sarim, and this is absolutely amazing, because this is going to give me a lot of free herb lore experience. You can see now I'm getting herb lore drops here, should be any second, 69. Dude, why does it have to be 69? I mean, if I would have been like 88, maybe I would have got like 75, and Jagex has it out for me. They want me to say 69, so there you go. And anyways, um, you get these tokens after, you know, every single experience drop you get. And you can actually get up to 2,000 of these tokens. And you can convert 200 of them into a catch. Now, the thing is, oh, you I don't know how to pronounce that. You guys know how to pronounce this. The, the last word here, uh, cash, whatever. And you get a supply crate. And that one has experience lamps. If it's the same as the Falador Massacre, it should have experience lamps and all kinds of good stuff in it. So, this is going to give me a lot of herb lore experience, most likely. And I will be doing this every single day. So, it's going to be some awesome extra experience. I just want to give a really quick recap of the Port Serim event. I got 60,000 herb lore experience in one day of capping the full thing in Port Serim event. Now that is absolutely amazing because if it's up for like two weeks, honestly I don't know how long it's going to be up for. Maybe you can see that somewhere here on the actual information about it. So let's see, um, no, I can't see anything. But I think the Falador event was up for at least two weeks, I might be wrong, but I think it was up for quite a while. And imagine getting 60,000 experience for 14 days. If that is the case, then that is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be like half the experience I need to get overloads, which is so good. And also all the experience lamps that I got uh, from the crates was, um, unfortunately they're specific lamps. They're not like a prismatic ones where I can just choose whatever skill I want to. So I got cooking, Fishing, construction, construction, cooking, prayer, and uh, I got a conch as well. So, nothing too interesting, but that is that, and it's going to be so good to get all this free experience every single day. Alright, so that is a 94 prayer. We only need one more level, and then I'm pretty much completely done with prayer, so that is absolutely amazing. Uh, I haven't done the light within yet, and I don't have the requirements to do it, so I can't really use the seven prayers yet. But only one level to go, and then I have some awesome stuff unlocked. Alright, so we're getting close to those overloads. I'm going to turn in a challenge here over some adrenaline potions, and we should hit 88 herb lore on that, so there we go. That is awesome. So now we only need three more levels, and then I can actually make overloads, and that is obviously with boostings with spices too, so let's open this one and get some shitty herbs as well. I think that's so bad, like, you do, uh, you spend 20 aventos as well as the supplies for it and everything, and then you get like 10 Cadondines back. I don't know, man. But, well, anyways, that is 88 herb lore, and we overall need how much 1.5 million experience to overloads i'll get there don't worry i'll get there
in between the different heffin hours I have actually been doing ganodermic beasts just to get some money for doing more prayer and I'm actually really close to being able to buy 95 prayer. I'm currently 94 and I only need 250,000 to 95 and I have uh, one of these ganodermic visors left. I just alked 14 of them and I'm going to do harps until the next heffin hour is going to come and then I have 1.8 million to spend so that's going to be quite a lot of experience and we're going to end up really close to 95. Oh my god you guys this is going to be so good and by the way I'm absolutely a huge idiot because when I made those god swords I pretty much just wasted time and maybe I got some smithing experience but I didn't even know that one of these shards they do alk for 150k so if you add three of those together that's 450k and then on top of that the hilt is 300 alk itself so that's 750k which is literally just like alking a normal god sword so anyways I did get the last money by alking some of these god sword shards and uh, uh, we're about to hit 95 prayers, so that is going to be the one of the really big goals for PVM in completed. And then after that, obviously, we have overloads for the next step. When I do have overloads, we can do pretty much whenever you know whatever I want to do. I will start off by doing a Raxor, and then when I try to get, I'm going to try to get the tier 90 weapons, and then when I have that, I'm going to go straight to Telos and try to get the tier 92, which is obviously a huge grind. But it's going to be so good to be able to do our Raxor soon. We only need overloads and. Overall, these turmoil curses, torment anguish are absolutely amazing for anything PVM related. So I know there's a lot of clips in Priftinas right now, but that is 94 crafting, and you know what? That means that I do not need to be doing harps anymore. There's no use for it, because I can boost to 99 now, and the only other use would be to, I guess, get 99. And I really don't need that, so the only thing that I really need now is brown spice to be able to- I think it's brown spice. Actually, no, it's probably not brown spice. I think it's orange or something, uh, maybe yellow spice, uh, for the crafting boost, and I need five levels, but I can't actually do that now and there's no use for it because I need an onyx to be able to make the amulet of souls and I don't have that and I'm planning to get them from Araxor but uh, when I haven't you know had anything to do I just went here and did some crafting and I'm actually done with it now so no more harping content. Alright so for the past hours I've been doing a recipe for a disaster and I only have two parts left I'm going to just finish this one and then I have after this two parts left and that is the monkey one and then I have the last one so uh, the problem is though I have not completed monkey madness and that is what I kind of need to do, but that's like one of the most annoying quests in my opinion. I mean, it's quite a lengthy one, but I need to complete it anyway, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm going to take a break from questing, and I initially recorded like me doing every single one of these, but then I realized it's just boring as hell to watch. So I just um, thought I would just conclude everything in the end, but I completed like seven steps, I think, seven quests, maybe six, I can't remember, but we only have two left, and that is the... Monkey Madness requirement, uh, along with the mini quest, obviously, for recipe for, for a disaster, or recipe for disaster. And then we have the last part, and then after that, I have actually literally every single requirement for Wild Gothic Sleeps, except the quest points. Literally the first drop that I get when I get to Kriara, trying out my Anguish Curse, is an effigy. And honestly, I can't complain, because that's 5,000 free Herblore experience, and that's all that I want, man. But actually, I want to pick up these Dwarf Weed Seeds, they're pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to do Kriara for a bit, it's mostly to try out the Anguish thing, and honestly, I can say that the results so far are amazing. I did not lose barely any health, I ended the kill with like 9k health, and I was 9.9k uh, health, and that's with using Vampir's Mara, this gear over here, and then uh, my Anguish with uh, Soul Split, so it's actually really good, and I do use Death Swiftness as well, but let's see if we can score any Armadale pieces, that would be absolutely splendid. I am actually literally retarded. I was drinking my potion, my ranging potion, while well, I thought it was a ranging potion, and I just kept looking at my range level, I was like, why doesn't it go up? What the fuck is wrong? And then I looked at it, and I brought a magic potion. Why am I so stupid sometimes, man? Really the only thing that came out of that Kriara trip, actually the three Kriara trips that I did was the Effigy and the Hard Clue Scrolls, so let's just open the casket from that and end it with that. Oh, 118k, and not really that good, so I'm just going to reroll that, um, so let's see what we get. Oh, a page, 3.4 mil, look how expensive they become since the books. Uh, but yes, I do have the Samurai book and it's only a damage book so far, so Sami page is actually the best thing I could get. 
But what is this? This is a Sarah Domin page one. You know what? I have quick teleport, so we can just quickly go to my bank and see if I have this one. Uh, I do have quite some pages. Not that many, though, for how many clues I've done. I watch on other, some other people, and they have, like, a bunch of, um, of the pages, even though they've done, like, 200 clues. So this is how many I have. So it really isn't that many. Let's see if this is a duplicate. And it is. Unfortunately, I have the one... The two and the four, so the three one is the one I, I would need, uh, I guess. It actually only took me like 50 minutes to complete Monkey Madness, so that went a lot quicker than I expected. But let's talk to the king and we should get some experience. And then I think we should be able to talk to the gnome upstairs and get even more experience. So we we're going to do that in just a second if this conversation can end. Alright, there we go. Three diamonds, man. That's like the big thing. I'm just kidding. 10,000 coins. Alright, three quest points. That's also really good, actually, as I do need quest points. Uh, but yes, we only got... I don't think we got any experience for that. So let's just go and talk to the gnome here. We should get uh, a total of like... 110,000 experience. I think that might be it actually uh, and uh, I think that's the thing. So let's see if we... Um, oh, maybe I need to do something with this. No, I don't think I do. Uh, focus on strength and stamina or defense. I'll just take that and let's see what happens if we need to do something now. Several hours later. All right. Cinematics, role playing, good stuff, good stuff. All right. Can I like exit this or what happens? All right. There we go. Let's see if we can get that experience. 110,000 and that seems to be in defense, attack, strength and HP. So that's pretty cool. So I just completed the monkey part of recipe for disaster and here we go I should hand it in here and get some experience and then after that it's uh, only fighting really and that's why I have the hybrid gear because you need the melee weapon the magic weapon and the ranged weapon and uh, I, I haven't really done this before and you also need ice gloves honestly I don't know if there's going to be a cinematic now hopefully there isn't but yeah after this we're going to get into a fight and that fight should really not that be that hard oh 10,000 agility that's actually really cool uh, but yes, I have completed every th single requirement and now I just need to fight some stuff and then we're done with recipe for disaster. Well, this is kind of ridiculous. This was literally the easiest fight I've ever done in any quest, honestly. Like, it said, oh, you need melee for this one, you need uh, range for this one, and you need whatever for this one. No, I didn't. Like... Sure, they're weak to it, but let's be real, like level 60 creatures or whatever, if they're weak to melee and I use magic, they still get one shot. So, I don't know, that was very easy, but I guess you should be doing this a lot earlier than I was doing it anyways. So, anyways, uh, I now have completed the whole recipe for disaster, and I have 234 quest points, so we we'll still need quite a lot of quest points, but let's uh, get 20,000 earned blood experience, that's actually really good. Uh, but yes, it feels good to have it done, so... A lot of questing was completed in this video. Just making some super anti-poisons and we're going to hit 89 herb on that. So there we go. We only need two more levels and then I will have overloads. I mean, it's it feels really close, but it really isn't. I still need 1 million experience, but we're getting there. Also now I can do extreme strength. So that should give me quite a lot of experience because I do have... Let me just see this. Super strength. I have... 400 of those and then dwarf weeds I do have 35 plus 143 so that's like 178 I think that is so that's a decent amount of potions all right, so I'm doing some Krill now, and uh, that is because that is my Slayer assignment, and we get an Elite Clue Scroll. And while I'm actually doing this, I was thinking about something about Dungeoneering. Now, Dungeoneering has something when you get to 90, which is called Demon Horn Necklace, and maybe a lot of you guys already know about this. Uh, but essentially what it does is that if you have it equipped, and you bury bones, or, you know, you scatter ashes, you get prayer points back for that. So, for example, I think Dragon Bones is like 150 or 200 points. Uh, so... For example, if you use a bone crusher which automatically just, you know, buries all the bones or you use an ectoplasmator that just automatically scatters all the ashes, you will actually, with a demon horn necklace, be able to probably do like Samurai, you know, bandos that drops ogre bones, stuff like that unlimited amount of time because you just soul split and then you use turmoil and along with that you have unlimited prayer because it just keeps resetting right or you get like 200 points per kill uh, also counting in the minions obviously because they also drop ashes and bones for the goblins um, so I might actually try and go for that 90 dungeoneering uh, I think that could be a good thing to go for and during that process as well I will probably get the tokens for a ring of vigor which I really feel like I need so I'm going to do this now and then I might actually do a bit of dungeoneering even though I absolutely hate it.
Actually, it's not too bad to get gold sword shards. There are actually 150k alk. I didn't even know that before, but now that I do, that's not uh, that bad of a drop, to be honest. So from that one hour samurai trip, I also got a hard clue scroll. So I do have an elite and a hard casket in my inventory. It's been a while since we did this last time, but let's equip the ring of wealth. Maybe it does something, so let's open the hard one first. Let's see what we get. And we get some costume skipping tickets, some alkybells, nothing really that interesting. Can't really roll it either, so let's just be happy with that, I guess. But let's see what we get for the elite one. And not th ah, that's not interesting. Or actually, is that an age item or is that like Samurai? Ancient would be really cool. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's ancient. Awesome. I'm really happy with that actually. Uh, I think the ancient one is like the best one, so let's see how this looks. Um yeah, I would prefer the plate legs over the plate skirt, but I'll take the skirt. I don't understand how people can get 200 tears from this. Sometimes it stays for a long time and then, for example, now I bet it's going to disappear now and just go away to some other place and turn into a green one. So if I swap here, alright, swap, and then it just despawns, went back here again, go back here again, and it just despawned into a green one, alright, and that just went, alright, this is, this is just impossible. How do people get 200 tears? So I got 76, which is absolutely awful, but let's see what experience I get. 13.6k runecrafting. I mean, it's not bad, it's a good weekly experience thing, but I don't know. If you have any advice on how I can get 200 tiers from that weekly, I would appreciate that. Actually, instead of doing dungeoneering, I'm going to do something else, and that is trying to get 75 baseline in all skills. The reason why I kind of want to do this is because then I can do that like AFKing, kind of. Meanwhile, I do quests, because quests is like the main thing I kind of need to focus on doing now. But it's not very fun to watch a 15 minute video of me just literally showing you guys quest rewards. So instead, I'm going to kind of chill out with some skilling and stuff like that while, you know, gaining total levels, gaining access to other stuff that I haven't really been having access to, you know, things from divination, things from uh, farming, which for example is the Moshella Mushrooms, there are 74 uh, farming requirements, and uh, that is to make the prayer renewals, which is obviously an, an amazing thing. Like, if I get the prayer renewals, I can currently boost to that, by the way. If I do get to the Moshella Mushrooms, and I can make these prayer renewals, first off, they're good experience. And I do have a lot of fellow stocks in my bank. And otherwise, you know, they're just awesome for PDMing. Like, prayer renewals is king. They're so good that you have to bring like half the prayer restores. It's great. So I'm going to try to do that. Meanwhile, I do quest things solemnly because I just want to get my stats up a bit. Because it just looks so shit when I have like 61 runecrafting. And you guys have been commenting on that as well. You're like, why do you have 110 magic and like so many melee stats? You're going overboard with Slayer and you have 61 runecrafting. Like, what are you doing, man? You're not a main account. You're an Iron Man. I do realize that. I feel like this is a good thing to do so I'm going to try to go for 75 baseline in all skills meanwhile questing meanwhile maybe throwing in some pvming if I feel like it's worth it so I hope you guys did enjoy this video at least this is the end of it and I'll see you in the next one guys take care